okay so welcome back to this course so in the previous video i have set up my home component and on this video before moving on i also want to set up the react router uh, here in the app.js okay so i simply first of all import data uh, or the router from the react router dom so i simply type here import uh, we have to import the browser router okay and let's bring in browser router as simple router and also bring in the route from the uh, react router dom okay so i'm bringing in the browser router as router and also i'm going to bring in the route okay and then simply i have to wrap this complete code in the router so router so let's simply cut this tag from here and put in here so let's save it so now our complete code is wrapped in the router and now we can use this route uh, to specify our different routes so let's first of all define uh, we definitely don't have to specify the header and footer route we only have to specify the home route okay so what i do is i can simply put in here route then we have to specify the path so definitely the path for home will be slash okay um, that is okay and then after the path we have to define the component so what component i want to render and that is going to be home component definitely and if i put in here exact this means that i want to exactly match this path okay so put in here exact so now if I press Control S, okay, and go back to my here, and now if you go to uh, Enjoy, for example, you just put in copy, it, go to the new tab, put in here this, then the slash, press enter, you will see that I go to the home page, okay. So now we have implemented the React router, and let's also, uh, what I do is because we don't have to put in the header and footer in the container container is basically the part of the bootstrap that basically uh, put everything in the uh, in the center you can see that here this all component is in the container so what i do is rather than putting all the components manually in the container i put in here in the container class so deep dot container let's also bring in the container dash fluid Okay. so we'll add that here so cut it from here and let's put in right here okay if I go to my home.js I can simply uh, remove this from here because I don't need it right now rather than I type here fragment okay so now I also have to bring in the fragment so let's save it and now if I go back to my Chrome, you will see the same result. Okay, if you reload it. Okay. So good. Now we are done with our old sort. We have set up our React Router DOM. We are now going to our specific routes here. And when we move on, we will define our routes one by one in the app.js. Okay. Alright, so now we have successfully also added the React Router. And now before moving toward our next section and implementing the Redux for our state management, I also want to add one more thing that is called the custom titles. Okay, so I want to specify a title for each page. So for that I have to use a package called Helmet. So if you know, remember you have also installed the package here that is called a React Helmet. So this basically allow us to put in the custom data in the page like the title. Okay, so I will quickly configure my helmet in my next video to add the custom titles and then we will start a new section in which we learn about the Redux. Okay, so I will see you in the next video.